Hey, welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in chapter 9, verse 46 to 48. Then a dispute arose among them as to which of them would be greatest. And Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a little child and set him by him, and said to them, Whoever receives this little child in my name receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. For he who is least among you all will be great. Isn't it amazing after the last few mornings, the things that the disciples have seen, the things they've participated in, the things Jesus is saying to them, they, they've been right there, right on the absolute front edge. And now they're going to get into a dispute among themselves about like which one of us is going to be the leader, which one of us is going to be the greatest. It sort of may, almost makes you speechless. Jesus is the leader. Jesus is the greatest. So Jesus takes them and instead of rebuking them, he, he brings a little child he says, you want to be trusting me like this little child right here is trusting me. And if you receive me, you receive the one who sent me. You know, are you willing really to receive me? You're walking with me. You're my disciples. You're my apostles. But you don't seem to be paying quite all the attention you could be. He gives them a concrete lesson with this child, an important lesson. And so he who is least among you all will be great. Jesus sort of helps them out there. Do you want to be great? That means you will be the servant of all. And a lot of people don't get this. They think that maybe when I become a Christian, somehow I'll be great. I'll become a widely known preacher. No, the least among you is the greatest. Humility, service, unheralded service, just quiet service, just doing what God has for you. And that's the highest place you can ever come to. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to not be worried about our position in your service, to be a president or the leader of a great ministry, or just to be somebody who's just at the just a regular plain Joe guy in the congregation. Lord, may we serve you. May we just be faithful to you wherever we are and not worry about who would be greatest. Lord, you be our leader. Help us to serve. And if there's going to be any greatness, that's how there will be greatness in me or in the hearers. Now bless, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you as you serve and therefore become the greatest.